Good morning and welcome back. It is 515 on this Monday morning. Hope you had a great weekend. We had some nice weather over the weekend. It was a little warm, but now we're tracking a cold front. That's going to bring us a taste of some fall like temperatures for the remainder of the week. We're also tracking Hurricane Milton. That's going to impact Florida a little bit later on this week. Not going to have impacts on our weather, but we'll talk more about it here in just a second. Here's a look outside. Satellite radar showing absolutely no rain in the area. No weather related issues. No fog out there. Taking a look at our food city cam. Things are going pretty good so far on this Monday morning. As for your temperatures, nice and comfortable. 58 in Blue Ridge Murphy, 61 in Athens, 59 in Lafayette and 62 degrees in Altamont. Now yesterday we officially hit 89 in Chattanooga. Today it's going to be about 5 to 7 degrees cooler on average. Valley temperatures in the lower 80s. Some of the higher elevations only topping out in the 70s today. And we'll have a nice breeze out of the north at about 10 to 15 miles per hour at times. Hour by hour, we'll be at 75 by lunchtime, 80 by 3 p.m. and continuing into the lower 80s for the remainder of the evening. So the humidity still out there, but we're going to crank this down a little bit as we go through the rest of the week. That muggy meter going to go to the lowest setting as we continue through your Tuesday, Wednesday, and even beyond into the weekend. Behind this front, much drier air going to start to sneak in from the north, and that's going to set up shop here across the Tennessee Valley and much of the southeast as we continue through the middle of the week. Behind the front, we're also going to have cooler temperatures, generally going to be in the 70s for highs. It's been a while since we've been in the 70s for a whole week, so it's going to be a really nice week of weather as we continue into October. Cool mornings. This morning, we're in the 60s in Chattanooga. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way into the weekend, lower to even mid-50s. And then by this weekend, we could even be waking up to a few mornings in the 40s here. So it might be time to dust off those sweatshirts, bring them out because we're going to need them as we continue through the rest of the week. Taking a look at your current fall foliage, not a whole lot of color changing just yet. Starting to notice a few trees starting to change a little bit here. So we'll continue to track that out and let you know what's going on. But taking a look at future cast, really no rain to be found today. A little bit of cloud cover late Monday into the Carolinas. And of course, Florida is going to be impacted by what is now Hurricane Milton formed this weekend, currently located in the western Gulf of Mexico. Now, this is expected to rapidly intensify and accelerate as we continue through the rest of the week. So again, Florida just got hit a couple weeks ago with Hurricane Helene here in the Big Bend region. Now we're looking at a potential impact into the Tampa area somewhere along that west coast of Florida. So it's been a very busy couple of weeks as regarding the tropics. And as we take a look at that Hurricane Milton path again, expected to become a category four storm by tomorrow morning. And then look how it kind of accelerates. So by 2 a.m. Wednesday, it's pretty far from the Florida coastline. But by the time we get into late Wednesday evening, it's going to impact the Florida Peninsula with heavy rain storm surge and hurricane force winds. So again, I do expect this to be a high impact storm for a lot of Florida, really Jacksonville south to Miami. And look how far away we are from that track. So this isn't going to impact the Western Carolinas. It's not going to impact us here locally, but it is something worth noting. Then it moves off into the Atlantic as we continue into Saturday. So if you have friends and family down in Florida, Make sure they're having a plan and heeding any of those evacuation orders that are coming out. Here's a look at your potential rainfall. The heaviest stuff stays in the Florida Peninsula. Maybe a little bit rain on the Carolina coastline, but here locally we're going to be dry. And of course, the Western Carolina is still cleaning up from Helene, not expecting any meaningful rain, but that is certainly good news for us and in our neck of the woods. And as we take a look at today, it's going to be nice, mostly sunny, comfortable. Light winds out of the north tonight. We're going to fall down right around into the low to mid 50s. Clear skies, cool and crisp. And taking a look at the next seven days of weather here across the Tennessee Valley. I mean, I'm going to sound like a broken record this week because it's going to be pretty much the same day every single day from tomorrow all the way through Saturday. So if you guys like fall weather, I mean, don't get better than this. I'm so excited. I think there's a lot of people <laughs> who are excited. You know, it, it just was a hot summer. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, for sure. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Clay.